and welcome back guys we have a good one today this is the fire cube if you guys missed the last video we did some really uh some great stuff there where we we're just checking this thing out and, and what it was doing what it was able to handle uh some of the specs on there how to get file linked on there so just some really basic basic stuff today we're going to get on to the settings a little bit more we're going to look at everything that you get and then we're going to test out the quality of a video so let's come here as you can see there is my android device we did use the a word and everything worked just good we're going to come here to the device itself now um, the reason why this thing looks like that is because this is ida 64 and for whatever reason the fire stick or the fire cube did not like it so at the top, this is the first thing we're going to look at. At the top, you get your home, live, your videos, free, movies, TV show, apps, and settings. So everything looks very simple. Um, this is just some stuff that I downloaded. Now for here, you can go to your apps and channels. This is everything that is available to you. Lots of different stuff. If you come to the far right, you could do a see all. And again, like out of the box, you get your prime video. You do get your Amazon uh music um you you can download internet this is extra so the one with the little clouds are extra the one that doesn't have a cloud came with the device stock so you also get photos and i think that's pretty much it i downloaded downloader i downloaded pluto um and i think that's it everything here that is there is just stuff that i've had in the past now now here, here's the thing people are going to say why do you have all this stuff like what if you don't want it so check this out. You got your, let me see here. Let's download one that I know I'm not going to use. Um, Disney now. So if you do the hamburger button, that's the hamburger button with the three lines, you could remove from the cloud and you could say remove from cloud and gone. So that's how you could come in here and clean the mess up a little bit. So just so it looks a little cleaner. Now, if you come here to the bottom, you have a little sponsor thing. Um, you got your Prime Amazon Originals. Now, if you do have Prime, this is where you're going to be able to get some of your stuff. If you come down, you got Prime movies that we think you'll like, uh, Prime cr Critically Acclaimed, and free TV shows on now, recommended by your apps, just stuff that they recommend, and then some featured stuff here at the bottom. Uh, and then you got free family movies and TV stuff. So lots of stuff here to play with. You just ha You have tons of stuff here, tons of stuff here, even sports at the bottom, which is great. Now, if you come here back to the top, if you go live, this will be all your live streaming services. So you got Sling, YouTube, Filio, you got Pluto, tons of stuff here. The good thing about Pluto, Pluto does come included here that you can get. If you do click on this thing, it says, you know, you could watch free here and, you know, here it is. So you could just see you just one click play. Very, very simple. One click play. Everything works good. Now, if you come here to your videos, this is like my watch list. Your video library i don't really use their library i just click it and watch it and i'm done so a lot of stuff here to to mess with now with here it, a lot of it's just going to be what can i see this is your free stuff then you got your movies you got your tv shows and then you have your apps so let's come into the settings this is very very important here with settings so your notifications you're going to get something like this where it says hey you have this you have this and you have this if you want to dismiss all boom done your networks, this is where you're going to be able to mess with your networks. And all you got to do is just click on it. You could forget this network or change network status. Display and settings, this is where you can set your screen savers if you want any. Um, people, Some people turn this stuff off, start in five minutes. I don't like starting in five minutes. Give me maybe 10 and you're good to go. For your display, video resolution, um, because I am using a 1080 cable. I, I hate using auto because it will just move it to whatever optimal it is. But because I might move this to my 4K TV, the 4K options will pop up. Match original frame rate is off. I turned it on. When match original frame rate is on, supported apps will use the native content frame rate during video playback. Um, video resolution must be set to auto. So I don't want it to do much work. Just match it what it is and we're good they'll use the the, the native frame rate during playback so it, it it'll be fine some people like having it off that's fine and then enable display mirroring and then hdmi cvc control what this is is with your remote if you move it your tv will automatically turn on so i'm going to hit the back button from there your applications you got amazon photos game circle manage app store 
um, and then manage and installed applications. This tells me how much I have. If I click on this and let's just say I wanted to delete something, I come here. Typically, I'll do a clear cache, clear data, uninstall. This is how I'll be able to get rid of it. If something's not working right, you can force close or you can launch the application. So very, very simple. This is where you're going to find all your apps. Now, if you back up equipment control, if you come here, this is how you could set up your stuff. Setup takes about five to 10 minutes, goes through all the steps. It'll look through your TV. It'll look through your speakers. It'll look through everything and sync it. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Very simple. You got your live TV here, channel management. It tells you everything that you have, your sources and parental control if you'd like controllers and Bluetooth. This is for your Amazon devices. And then you got controllers, mobile devices. You could actually have an, an app. Um, just go to Fire TV on your Google Play Store or your or iOS and look for Fire TV. And then you could download your stuff instead of using the remote. And it comes with a keyboard too. If you, if you use your phone, you can use your keyboard. Pretty neat. Other Bluetooth devices, again, self-explanatory. Then you got your A word. You things to try, favor this device, communications, your wake up word. If you don't like to say this word, you could say that word or that word or that word. So lots of different things to change. Uh, preferences. We have parental controls, privacy settings, data monitoring, notifications. Uh, I like to turn this stuff off. Don't interrupt me. App notifications. I, I'll probably end up just coming here and just turning everything. You know, what? I'll turn everything off except for this one, maybe because I want to know notifications. Um, if you come down here to featured content, that's the little thing that's auto playing. I'll just turn this off and turn this off because I don't want it to be using extra stuff here. Then you got your location, time zone and metrics. So for privacy device usage, I turn this off. I, I, I don't want them to see what I'm looking at. They're still going to they're still going to send you stuff. Collect app data again. Turn it off. Interest base. They're still going to some they're still going to send me stuff. I just don't want them to knowing what I'm looking at, period. Um, and then here, parental control. Again, you could set up a password if you like. Now you got your my fire TV. You're about this is all your information that you have for your fire TV, your storage, your network and install updates, which looks like there is an update developer options again i turn this on and i come here and these will automatically you have to turn them on uh not automatically you have to do it manually legal compliance sleep restart and this is where you reset your entire device back to factory you got accessibility closed caption voice view screen uh magnifier this is where you can make things bigger especially if you have glasses on and you're just like you know what i, I just like things a lot bigger this is how you can do it help and you got help videos, quick tips, contact us, feedback, and then my account. This is where you could come in here, deregister your thing, or you could sync Amazon content. And I know that was a lot of settings to talk about, just a lot of stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to YouTube next, and we are going to streaming box. Now we're going to go to this channel here and we're going to test out to see if it's going to be pulling up that um that really nice quality here so i'm just gonna skip i'm not gonna go anywhere now it does have this thing here so i wonder if uh if i come here to search do i have a let me see streaming box now so there you go streaming bucks no not stream bucks. stream streaming box now there you go so you could use this to control where you navigate that is awesome notice the 4k is there towards the bottom which is great so let's come here. Let's see streaming box. Now let's look at the formula device. Some good stuff there. So the first thing is it doesn't look 1080 or 4k. It looks kind of grainy. Oh wait, did it just snap over? Yeah, it just definitely snapped over. So it, it did take maybe like five seconds for it to, to come over. And then the quality just looks amazing. Yeah, quality looks great. So I'm going to hit the pause button here. And first thing I like to do is I like to go more and then quality. It is marked as HD. Now, people are going to say, I thought this was a 4K thing. Remember, I'm using a 1080 cable and the capture card is 1080. So it's only going to pull 1080. It's not going to overwork itself. But if you do have this on a 4K TV, it's going to look nice and crisp. The cool thing is a lot of my videos that I render are in 4K quality. So even if you're playing this at a 1080, it's going to look really nice like this one. Um, same thing. If you, if you upscale it to 4k, then you're going to be able to see all the different little wrinkles and details on my skin and everything. But this looks really, really good. Um, like uh, so far I'm very impressed. Everything is working great. Everything has been a very smooth experience for me. I'm actually very happy and surprised. So, 
yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this one. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, you know, I try to hook you guys up with some good devices. Um, let me know what you guys think. As always, take care, take care of each other. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to put a value on this thing. Is this really worth it? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.